Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am with uh, Lego My Lego 920 or Odin. So, hello, Odin. <laughs> hello, everyone. And uh, this video is actually uh, not my idea. It's Odin's idea. So, do you want to say what this video is about, Odin? So, we're basically um, discussing about the DCU, like what got announced by James Gunn. Yeah. So if I also, I don't know if I sound different to you, or didn't know, but uh, I got a new microphone. So, <laughs> FYI, it sounds really nice though. Anyways, uh, so what's our topic? What's the first thing that we're going to be talking about the about the new DC U? So the topic we're going to talk about are the movies and the the shows that they announced for Chapter One. So basically, with live action and animation, where the people voicing the characters, where they'll still keep the actors like playing the characters on screen. Yep. <laughs> like I already know, you sent me a few uh, things for that already. Like you sent me a yeah. few things. Uh, there was a new uh, Superman movie that they're doing. Hold on, let me pull it up here on my phone. Because I don't want to uh, do it on uh, on my computer, because otherwise it would just mess my recording up. <laughs> so, uh, okay, you said that there is going to be a new movie for Superman, and it's going to be called Superman yeah. Legacy, you said? Yeah. And then The Brave and the Bold, which is a new Batman movie, uh, Swamp yes. Thing, The Authority, and Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Yep. So, so those are... Talk about... Sorry, go yep. ahead. So The Brave and the Bold. So it's basically on uh, Bruce Wayne's uh, biological son. Uh, Damien? That's going to be the, be Robin, you know, like... Damien and Wayne. Also the... Yep. Okay. Yeah, a even the biological son of uh, Talia Al Ghul. Yeah, that's Damien. Yes, if you, if for those of you who've seen like Son of Batman and stuff, the animated movies like uh, Son of Batman, uh, uh, Batman Bad Blood, uh, Batman Hush, uh, stuff like yeah. that. There, uh, Damien Wayne is in it. So. Uh, mm -hmm. I've seen two of those. I have not seen Batman Hush yet, so uh, I want to, but uh, yeah. So, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. There's gonna be a new Batman movie, apparently. But who's gonna be playing Batman? Probably Robert Pattinson, I feel like. Yeah, Robert Pattinson's Batman's gonna be separate. Thing in the the bat verse by Matt Reeves. Okay, so he's not going to be a part of the DCU then. Got it. No. So who do you want playing as Batman? Either somebody returning as playing Batman or somebody new playing as Batman. Well, I can't say for certain because um, James Gunn did. Did confirm that there's going to be like younger cast playing members of the Justice League. Well, as at this point, this is just a theory. At this point, yeah. So, like, it would be nice to find out or try and theorize who's going to be the next Batman and try and theorize who's going to be like the new Superman or something. It would be kind of nice to theorize yeah. that if we're right, we're right. If we're wrong, we're wrong. It's just a theory. That's the whole point of this video, pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it would be nice to bring back uh, Christian Bale as Batman, in my point of view. Yeah. It would be kind of nice, but uh, I think he's done playing as Batman. But, uh, yeah. Never know. Who do you think uh, should play as Batman? I really don't know at the at this moment for any actors who were born in the the nineteen nineties. Okay, so we'll come back to that one if you, or we'll just skip that one for you, I guess. 
otherwise yeah. um superman legacy is going to be the next movie yeah and the uh, release a release date for superman legacy did get confirmed by james gunn really what's the release date so i know it's gonna release in 2025 but i'm not sure I can't remember what uh, James Gunn said um, on the I, ING vi- video, like with the month and the the day. Okay, so he did. So he confirmed a release date, but you're not sure what what it was. That is. Um. Yeah. So for Superman, I feel I'm wondering what villains are going to be a part of that movie like is it i don't know if it's like an origin movie or something or like how he became superman or is it just going to be like a regular old superman movie like where he's going to fight a villain and then that's that i don't know i would yeah, love there's... to see i would love to see bizarro in live action even though they already did that for superman and lois but uh they're gonna they're gonna skip the origin story. Okay, so uh, in my point of view, it would be awesome to see another Bizarro, like another Bizarro in live action. Because I don't know if you've seen Superman and Lois at all. It, it, if you guys have any either spoilers, but uh, I, I technically have not seen the whole series. I just seen bits and pieces of it. I don't know if you're planning on watching that uh, series from the CW at all, Odin, but... Uh, Are you talking about Supergirl or... No, or, Superman uh, and Lois. Oh, Superman and Lois. Yeah, I've it's, a, seen it. it's a, a show on the CW, kind of like The Flash, which there is going to be a ninth season of that. Cannot wait. Um, so, there is... Uh, there is a series of that, and then one of the villains that they're fighting is Bizarro. I don't know if you're familiar with Bizarro at all, but it's basically uh, uh, okay. So it's like the basically opposite Superman, pretty much, quote unquote, opposite Superman. Yeah, he takes everything backwards, also, pretty much. Yep, and you'll and you'll have to get uh, the information by that. IGN video that's by uh, James Gunn. Yeah, I guess. Or I'm just gonna be post or be putting random uh, uh, pictures all over the place in this video. Otherwise, uh, so um, the next movie that we're going to be actually we haven't even talked about like who is gonna be the new Superman. Because it's probably not going to be Henry Cavill. Unless Henry yeah, Cavill he's... isn't going to come back. But uh, I don't think it's going to be him. So no. who do you think? I really don't know. I really don't know for any of the casting right now. <laughs> okay. So the next movie is Swamp Thing. Yeah, Swamp Thing. I know only a little bit amount of that character. Because I know he's like basically a bunch of vines and stuff from the swamp, but uh, I don't know too much about his character, I don't think. But, uh, so what do you think about Swamp Thing, Odin? Uh, I've never uh, read, read about his retrospective or something, but... I may, I I would probably know about all vines and some grass stuff and dirt. Well, yeah, because like he's a bunch of stuff from like something that you would see in the swamp, pretty much. Yeah, I don't really recall if he's a hero or a villain. Maybe he's an anti-hero. I don't know, but um, or an anti-villain. I have no idea. But uh, I I don't really know too much about his character. <laughs> So uh, I don't really know. It's going to be interesting, though. Um, what's the next one here? The authorities. Now this one, or the authority. I don't know too much about this one. I never heard about this movie. So you want to 
educate me here. All right. Let, I'll give you some information about the authorities movie. And you turn your webcam on. Oh, sorry. I'm just researching right now. Oh, good. <laughs> Probably just cut this part until your camera comes back on. <laughs> It's based on the Wild Storm comics by Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch. So yeah, Mark contrast to the rest of the DC universe. So Swamp Thing is just a is he an anti-hero or just like an actual hero? I haven't looked up about Swamp Thing yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it so yeah, basically the authority is Born out of a storm watch, which is another title that Ellis had plan has penned, you know. Okay. So we know a little bit about it, I guess. So uh yeah. hold on. And now I gotta move my camera again. <laughs> Fun. Moving my webcam back and forth. This might stay in, this might not. I don't know of my video. I have no idea. Okay, so let me do some research about the Swamp Thing here. So it doesn't say if he's an anti-hero or not, but probably more people would know what who if Swamp Thing is anti-hero or an actual hero or a villain or something. And I'm sure people would tell us in the comments, I'm sure. Isn't that right? Anyways, um, so Swamp Thing, the Authority, and uh, what's the next movie? Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. What do you think about that one? So the Supergirl film. Yeah. So, so it's gonna be where. She's a young woman who saw her plant destroyed and was sent to Earth to protect a baby cousin who ended up not needing her. Not needing so, her? Yeah. Well, yeah, because like, uh, Cal Al got there before her anyways. So by the time uh, Superman, or by the time she got there, I'm pretty sure it's gonna he's already going to be grown and stuff. And yeah, Kal El is he younger than um, her cousin or his cousin, isn't he? I forgot about that. But uh, honestly, it's going to be interesting because by the probably by the time uh, Supergirl gets there, uh, Kal El will be fully grown and he's already being Superman already, right? At that point, yeah. Because like from your description, saying he, she gets there and ends up, she or he doesn't need her at all and stuff so she's probably going to get there and notice that he doesn't need her at all but still probably going to be helping him out probably going to be his like sidekick or something yep that's probably what it's going to be it would probably be well you said that there's not going to be any origin stories so right I was going to say it would be her origin story, but uh, it's not. Um, so it's probably just going to be like what happened when she got here on Earth and trying to find her cousin, but apparently to like help him and protect him. But apparently his her cousin doesn't need him at all or need her at all. Yep. It's kind and of probably be like that. Yep. And one more thing about the authority is that the Wild Storm characters will take matters into their own hands to do whatever they believe is right. Gotcha. Anyways, yeah. um, so now we're on to TV shows. Yes. So one of the TV shows is Waller. So that would be Amanda Waller, the leader of the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Also, I'll, I did look up what the release date is for Superman Legacy. Ooh, what's what is it? July 11th. 
July 11th, I'm assuming, 2024, I'm assuming? Yeah, 2025. Okay. Oh, 2025. I was a year off. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, 2020, uh, 2025, then. So, um, yep. now, uh, now we're talking about, uh, Waller now. So it's going to yes. be about it's going to be so about gonna, Amanda Waller. She's going to be featuring uh, the TV series is going to feature Team Peacemaker. Peacemaker, like the John Cena Peacemaker or a different Peacemaker? It's a different kind of Peacemaker. So somebody else is going to be playing him. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. And that means somebody else will be playing Amanda Waller. Yeah. Because we won't have the Amanda Waller that we have currently that's in the uh, Zack Snyder's universe at all because they're rebooting the, the universe, basically, for that. If I have to guess why they're doing it, that is probably due because of um, a thing happened in uh CW of the Flash. That's my theory, yeah. but uh, but it's probably not. It's probably had nothing to do with that, right? But uh, and now I gotta fix my webcam again because you keep a dirty yours off and on again. Yeah. And of course, there's also Booster Gold. Yeah, we are going to get a Booster Gold uh, uh, series. Same thing with Creature Commandos, uh, Paradise Lost, and Lanterns first, the like Green Lantern and stuff. Yep, which will be focused on the Hell Jordan Green Lantern and the John Stewart Green Lantern. Honestly, we have not seen Green Lantern in a long, long time. I, like, wasn't like the last time we seen Green Lantern was like I think it was Zack Snyder's Justice League, like the extended version, and we seen a Green Lantern there, or was it the actual movie we saw a Green Lantern? I don't know, but uh, I know. Yeah, it was the Ryan Reynolds film. Yeah, yeah, and then the actual like live action Green Lantern that was, and then then we saw like. Ryan Reynolds version of Green Lantern as well. So, like, it's pretty crazy. We have not seen anything about Green Lantern in a long, 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 long time. So, uh, like, the last time we've seen a live-action Green Lantern was basically uh, Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern. So, uh, otherwise we've been seeing cartoons and stuff. I'm not sure if I've messaged you about uh, Creature Commandos, which will be an animated series. Oh, Creature Commandos is going to be an animated series. Okay. Yeah. Which, uh, where Amanda Waller is going to create black a Black Ops team out of monstrous prisoners. What's her, like, what's Waller's, like, idea, great idea to just use prisoners to be his superhero team? Why is that her great idea to do that? His Suicide Squad and now Creature uh, Commandos now? Yep. Who's going to be a part of Creature Commandos? Freaking like King Shark or something? Really hope not. <laughs> yeah, which I think are where they were theorized about the uh, somewhere in a Civil War or something. Civil War. What? Yeah. Like a civil war yeah. in their universe, and then they will have to. Okay, that's going to be interesting to find out more about. Uh, yeah. We also have a uh, booster gold. Is there anything, any other information about that? Basically using uh, basic technology from the future to get 
to pretend to be a superhero in present day. And look, we'll see how that turns out. Yep. And I know Paral- Paradise Lost is set in Team Make, however you pronounce it, where it's on Wonder Woman's uh, birthplace. Paradise Island? Paradise Lost. Yeah, Paradise Lost, but uh, I can't remember the name of the actual island. You know, I can't figure it out. Uh, The name of her island is like so hard to pronounce and so hard to remember sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. But yeah, all those uh, DC shows are going to be airing on HBO and they'll be able to stream on HBO Max. Yeah, so uh, th- those are where the TV, sh- uh, TV shows are going to go. Movies would obviously come out in yeah. theaters. Yeah. And stuff like that. We'll just have to find out more information. Like there is still a lot of things that change about this yet because we're like two years away yep. so a lot of yep. stuff could change within that two years but uh yeah. um, so I don't know if this is going to stay the same by that point in time or if it's all going to be different by the time it by the time it releases you know so I yeah. don't know if it's going to be the same or not the same I really don't know if they're going to do any changes to the films whatsoever. If they do, I hope it's still good. (laughs) Hopefully. Um, (laughs) But uh, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think the, all the stuff in the DCU will do well. Although uh, the DCEU has been pretty messy. Yeah, mostly like in the, like behind the scenes though with like the actors and stuff yeah and i know the justice film was rushed yeah but and like they i don't know if they're still coming out with the flash movie at all i don't know but uh yeah but james gunn did yeah the flash movie is still releasing and when James Gunn said that it will be the the great, greatest uh, movie, it's kind of controversial to agree with since uh, people don't like Ezra Miller right now. Hey, Ezra Miller did way too many bad things. We're not going to get into it in a video at all, but because like that's private business, first off. And... Uh, if you want to do your own research, go right ahead. But like we're not going to tell you guys here. But um, yeah, we don't want to start any drama. But um, no. it's uh, honestly, they should recast the Flash in the DCU in that in the new DC universe there. They should recast the Flash. I don't know who will be the new Flash. I'm hoping Grant Gustin. But uh, I feel like Grant Gustin will be done. But at the end of season nine of The Flash, I don't think he wants to keep on playing as The Flash. I could be like a thousand times wrong there and he still wants to continue playing as The Flash. But uh, I don't know. But otherwise, probably someone new would be The Flash. So, yeah, I really don't know if it will be Barry Allen Flash or Wally West Flash. I have no idea. Because there is two separate flashes. Like yeah. I don't know you. Do you know like the whole story behind the about uh, like the Flash and how Wally became the Flash? Um, nope. Okay, so like we all know when how Barry became the Flash. He got struck by lightning. He became the Flash, right? He yep. became the fastest man alive. But um. I think during at that time in uh, the Flash's lifespan, he had to go away 
into the Speed Force, and then he can't, couldn't come back at all. Obviously, in the CW Flash, that was different. But um, yeah, then Wally West came out and became the Flash instead. And he, Wally West was the Flash ever since and stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause like, I think that's the same, like you've seen the cartoon of uh, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, right? Justice League Unlimited. uh, I I don't know if I've seen much of it, but. Okay. Well, uh, in that, in that Justice League um, series, Wally West was the Flash not Barry Allen. And I'm assuming a lot of people were asking, where's Barry Allen? Because Barry Allen was the Flash. He was probably in the Speed Force, more than likely. And he's still probably like the fastest man alive. But um, that's... I don't know if they're going to do Wally West or Barry Allen Flash in the new DC universe at all. I mean, it would be interesting to see Wally West Flash. But uh, I think a lot of people prefer the OG of Barry Allen, I think. But uh, yeah, a lot of people prefer Barry Allen. Yeah, and there's also uh, Shazam Fury of Gods coming. There's also the second Aquaman and there's even a Blue Beetle movie coming. Yeah, yeah, but after those movies come out and then the DCU takes place instead of the DCEU, then those actors will be gone. Yeah. I mean, somebody else will be playing Aquaman. Somebody else will be playing Shazam. And somebody and else will be playing Blue Beetle. Unless Blue Beetle is already a part of the DCU. Highly unlikely. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, that would everyone that plays that will be a different actor and actress. Mm-hmm. Like, and, um, uh, sorry, go ahead. Of course, uh, Joe Keen's uh, Phoenix's Joker is getting a sequel, as well as there's going to be a sequel for Matt Reeves's Batman, even a, a, a TV show on Colin Farrell's uh, Penguin. Interesting. Yeah, I know for sure that like eight, I think it, this was news for a while, but we all knew that Ben Affleck was done playing as Batman for a, like there, he was not going to do a single movies, but if there was another Justice League, he would come back. I think he said, right? Yeah, that's uh, not going to happen though, now, but uh. Like I know I like Ben Affleck's Batman. He was great as playing as Batman. Uh same thing with Henry Cavill. He was great as playing as Superman and everybody else, except for Ezra Miller. I don't like Ezra Miller playing as Flash. Cause like since when was Barry Allen afraid of tall people and bug and giant bugs? When was that a thing? <laughs> there was nowhere in the comic in the comics. Or even in like other live action stuff where he was afraid of tall people or even giant bugs. I don't know about you, Odin, but that's not the Barry Allen I know. No. That's why I much prefer Grant Gustin's Flash because like he is willing to do whatever it takes to get well, except kill people. But like he's gonna uh he's willing to do whatever it takes to get uh, to, to defeat his enemy, his I'm still tired. Apparently, his enemy. <laughs> like, um, I'm sure. I don't know if you've seen uh Grant Gustin's like Flash series at all on the CW or even on Netflix. I don't know, but uh, he yeah, no, yeah. Um, uh, Flash ended up defeating a bunch of other people, like uh, Reverse Flash, Thon, Ebarthon. Um, Zoom, which is um, Hunter Zolomon, uh Savitar, which is I that one is like literally confusing about Savitar. Um, the Thinker, the uh, 
eventually it will become uh like um the anti monitor uh or monitor it as well and stuff and then crisis um blood work um who else i think now it's going to be red death now i don't know if you knew all about like what the story behind red death is but uh red death is another speedster and apparently it's going to be like the new zoom apparently or it's going to be like zoom but um mm-hmm. Like this is why I like um Barry Allen's Flash because Barry or Grant Gustin's Flash because uh Barry Allen he sh- it shows that Barry Allen is not afraid of tall people and giant bugs because he's brave enough to do that stuff. Ezra Miller's Flash I don't know who wrote uh, Ezra Miller's Barry Allen but uh, I'm assuming it's Zack Snyder. I'm assuming. But uh, that's that yeah. was not Barry. <laughs> that was so not Barry Allen. I know uh, how Barry Allen is, and it, that's not Barry Allen. So, is there anything else you would like to say? Oh, that. Uh, well, nope. There, I don't think there's anything else I like to say, but. I'll definitely be looking forward to the the new DCU, but I'm unlikely gonna see uh, the Flash movie, especially the second Aquaman. Yeah, because of uh, Amber Heard and stuff. Probably, I probably won't yeah. see those two movies in theaters if they come out to be like downloaded or for me to get it on DVD. Then sure, I'll watch it, but I'm not gonna go to theaters and watch those two movies this ezra miller wow. should be fired for for the things he did he's done and same thing with hamburg yeah. like they should both be fired yes. but uh yes because i know what amber heard did the giant up yeah and what ezra miller did to his fans or to other people especially but um those two should be fired they should not be part of the DCEU or even like recasted for the DCU even because they, they they're not great <laughs> they should not be doing what they what they were doing but uh it, yeah it's gonna be chaotic for probably a little bit until everything is straightened out until mm-hmm. like the DCU is actually started is like they have to cast everybody again as being Batman, uh, Superman, Supergirl now. Um, and eventually, I'm sure after those movies and those TV shows are done, then they'll probably be doing stuff for like The Flash, Wonder Woman and stuff again, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, and then somebody else would be playing The Flash or and Wonder Woman and stuff like that. But uh, honestly, yeah. I think uh gal gadot did a good job as playing wonder woman yeah. in my opinion like i would not mm-hmm. mind if she comes back in the dcu but uh that's very very unlikely <laughs> it's very very small of a chance that she would come back but um like they already probably re- they already recasted probably uh, Batman and Superman by now. I don't know unless they're still trying to figure out like who's playing as Batman and who's playing as Superman or something. But uh, it's up in the air right now. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see on who's doing that stuff. But um, sorry, I was moving my microphone. <laughs> but um. Otherwise, I think that's it, right? That's how we're yeah. talking about right now. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I can't, you know, there's nothing else that Odin sent me on Discord that we had to talk about. And um, there's nothing else that I got to bring up. Other than, nope. than subscribing, like this video, and turn on notifications so, we, so that you don't get, so you, know to get notified if you like your videos 
Yeah. Otherwise, and um, friends. yeah, uh, Odin's. Uh, um, if you're watching on my point of view, Odin's um, channel will be in the description. In my point of view, mm-hmm. and I'm sure it would be the same thing for you for mine. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I do have two videos coming, you guys. If this one comes out before the two Minecraft videos, then there is two Minecraft videos coming. Yeah. See? Two. I have two uh, being worked on right now. It's just taking a long time because I have, like, over two hours of footage I gotta go through. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. it, it, they, uh, they are coming. I am working on stuff. But, uh, it also depends if this video comes up before that, but uh, which is probably more than likely because this video is only like 38 minutes long as of yeah. recording this right now. But um, this would probably be a lot shorter when I edit this. But uh, otherwise, yeah, there is for my channel, there's two more videos coming. I might start doing reaction videos as well. I don't know. But um, excuse me. But um, otherwise, that would be it for this video for right now. I'm sure we'll keep you guys updated on the DCU. I'm sure. I'm sure Odin would probably yeah. want to do a second video and we get more information about stuff. But and then I'll probably be back recording this with him as and as well, or he'll just record it on his own. But um. Mm-hmm. It really all depends, but otherwise, him and I will be back, or he will be back, or I'll just me will be back talking about this. I don't know, but um, otherwise, that is it. Uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a single video. And um, uh, Odin's channel will be in the, in the description. I'm trying to remember my outro. Uh, <laughs> I haven't done an outro, said an outro in so long. Uh, I think that's it. I, yeah. I, I think that's it. Yeah. So uh, remember, guys, two videos are, co- are incoming for my channel. Other than after this one, hopefully. I don't know. Otherwise, if this one doesn't, you know the whole thing. But um, <laughs> otherwise, that's it. I'll see you guys in, in the next video. Later. Yep. <laughs>